Hello everyone, this is Ironhide X. Um, today I'm doing a video on my tier 5 Russian destroyer, the Gevni. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, uh, you'll have to forgive me. Um, so it's been a while since I've put out a new video. Um, so this is a my little guide on the Russian DDs uh, gameplay but it's also just kind of like the state of my YouTube channel at the moment. Um, status updates, all that good stuff. So I haven't put out a new video because I've kind of petered off from playing World of Warships. Um, there were some really disappointing things to me uh, with the game. Um, specifically the lack of really competitive team play. Um, there's no... I really want to see clans. Clan support. Uh, clan battles or even just team battles um, Something I could do with people that I know other than just three-man platoons uh, That's kind of a big deal for me uh, So th that I is definitely a, a one of the reasons why I kind of petered off playing it for a bit um, So like me and the, my buddies that I normally play with we've been playing other games we've been playing smite and Vermintide and squad and uh, numerous other games. Uh, however, we have came back to Warships. We're playing Warships again. I'm playing Warships again. Uh, there have been lots of changes in the game. Uh, lots of things changed. Lots of things, of course, have stayed the same. Um, you know, Of course, there is ranked battles, which I am starting to do. But my big problem with ranked battles, like I was just saying, is um, you have to do them with... with uh, random pubs and I, I really wish there was something I could do um, with a clan or with a larger group of people and that's really uh, it's a damper on it for me but however we are playing the game again so um, you I will be releasing more videos um, the number one thing that keeps my videos going is you subscribers so thank you very very much for subscribing and I'm really going to put an effort into trying to release more videos. Uh, that'll be one of my big number one priorities. Uh, and again, guys, share share my videos, comment, um, spread the word. You know, the, the more people I get, uh, I know like my videos, it gives me, you know, PA people like them. I want to do more. Uh, so, state of the game, what's really changed? Um, well, of course, the big nerf to aircraft carriers. There's not as many aircraft carriers, so destroyers are kind of feasting at the moment. Uh, this is, of course, a tier 5 game, so um, CVs really aren't, especially in a destroyer, really aren't a problem. But in high tiers, the lack of carrier and, and I know, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but the lack of carriers is becoming an issue because uh, carriers are the best thing to spot those Shimakazes. And when I'm playing my Yamato, um, that's probably the number one issue is that just there's a, a lots and lots of destroyers um, so anyway their their only current competitive kind of gameplay thing is the ranked battle system which I have been playing I think I'm ranked 13 at the moment um, I didn't play season 1 or season 2 so I had to start from rank 22 whatever it is um, that really tries my patience really really tries my patience because um, people will join with extremely not optimum ships they'll join with ships that are really are subpar uh, not upgraded um, and the team play balance at least at level 13 or whatever I'm at is still really not there um, and, and I really just wish we could do ranked battles with people we know because then we could really use the tactics that I think are best uh, in that most of, of the players I play with feel our best. This is not just my opinion. Um, so anyway, that's 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 what's going on with my channel, what my thing is with the game. Um, other big gameplay changes. Uh, lots, of, lots of cruisers now. There's lots of cruisers in the game, lots of destroyers. Um, the I believe they changed the, the uh, overmatch mechanics. Cruisers don't seem as durable now. Um, and of course the new line the new Russian destroyer line which is really not so new but it is new to me 
And uh, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of these Russian destroyers. Uh, these are definitely gunboats. You definitely want to be shooting your guns with these. These are not torpedo boats. Um, they have torpedoes. They have extremely powerful torpedoes that are very, very fast. But up until tier 8, they're pretty much suicidal range. Um, four kilometer range torpedoes. You know, four or five kilometers. And that's very dangerous for a destroyer to get that close to shoot at uh, any ship, battleship or cruiser. So, if I do launch my torpedoes, normally it will be at a battleship. Because of the reload, I can quickly get in, launch, and smoke up. As you'll see actually later in this, this battle here. So in this battle, I was playing uh, with my buddy Rite Aid here. He's in his Congo. And uh, I actually laid a smoke screen here. This is... Uh, anybody that's in a destroyer, if you're screening for a battleship and fighting with a battleship, um, you can lay smoke for them. That It doesn't just work for you. So he was taking a real pounding, so I laid smoke for him to give him a breather so he could get his repair uh, ability going um, and try to conserve his hit points a little bit. Um, so the Russian destroyers, they like I said, they're definitely gunboats. They have really good range, um, but probably my favorite thing about them is not just their gun range, but it's their gun arc and their shell flight time is really nice. Um, so American destroyers have much fast; they have fire, faster firing guns and faster moving turrets, um, but they have a really poor arc. So at out, you know, 10, 11, 12 kilometers, the Russian DD has a massive, massive advantage as far as guns because of the much much faster shell flight time and the much lower arc um, that really gives you a big advantage. I feel the the Russian destroyer is the number one gunboats in the game. Um, they're the best anti torpedo anti uh, destroyer boats. Um, if you're in a Japanese destroyer or an American destroyer, um, these will be probably your number one threat. Uh, these things are really effective now. Um, it's very important, however, that you you dance at long range. Uh, if you get down into very short range with American destroyers, for instance, or really any ship, um, their guns become accurate enough and the shelf flight times don't matter as much and the arcs don't matter as much, and that you could potentially be outgunned. Uh, so staying at long range with these guns, and dancing around. Uh, like if you see here when I'm in sniper view, you'll, you'll see shells, I'm sure like you saw earlier, coming in at me. Um, I'm noticing when those shells are coming in and if you look at the bottom left screen, my little ship, the little compass, uh, you'll see my ship turning. So I'm actively avoiding those shells while I'm in sniper view uh, by maneuvering around. Um, definitely what you want to do with these ships. Stay at long range and maneuver and just keep firing your guns. Um, these th have 130 millimeter guns that are very effective. Uh, very, very good guns with really high rates of fire and good arcs, good shell fight times. Um, I, you can routinely uh, outgun duel most ships with these just because of they're so hard to hit once you get past about 10 kilometers. Uh, it's extremely difficult to hit a destroyer. Uh, once once he's out past 10 kilometers and I'm just the tier 5 the range gets even better the higher up you go and uh, I'm definitely going to be doing more videos with the Russian destroyers as I move up the tiers and uh, we'll see how it changes but I have a feeling it will pretty much stay like this um, from everything I've read about the higher tier Russian destroyers um, they take this and just make it better because they get, end up getting longer range torpedoes. Um, so that'll be really nice. Uh, concealment. Uh, the Russian destroyers don't have the best concealment. Uh, like you did this tier 5, I have a 7 kilometer detection range. Um, so it's not great, but it, it's still enough where you can stop shooting and disengage. Uh, that's the big thing. It's not good enough, at least yet, to... Um, to stealth launch with torpedoes or anything like that but it does allow you when you're in a gun duel if you're in not in a favorable circumstance or position that you can disengage go dark and then come in at a different angle 
or maneuver yourself into a more favorable position. Uh, so I, I think the concealment with these is fine. The torpedo range I think is also fine. If these things had um, longer range torpedoes, they would, I mean, that would be a little too much for these because they're, they're pretty good. Um, so again, using my gun with this, using islands and whatnot for uh, concealment and covering from different ships is, is how I play these things. Um, I tried to screen my for my battleships as much as I can and um, just lay the smack down on the enemy. Um, you see here I've been dueling with that Omaha for a while now, but uh, I was able to take out that St. Louis, uh, the poor guy, I think he must have disconnected or something. Um, so again, definitely be aware of where the enemy ships are at. Like here, I see that Omaha, who is by far the biggest threat to me because he has a uh, he can actually outgun me. Uh, so I actually slam on the brakes here, and I'm going to use this island that's to my rear, or to the left on the left-hand side of the screen, and that island's going to cover me from fire from the Omaha while I sit here and just gun down the boat. Uh, you can see just how effective these guns are. I'm just sitting here laying into this boat. Uh, these guns are really, really good. I'm, I'm really impressed with how, how decent these guns are. Um, taking down that full health bow very, very quickly just with destroyer guns. Just I, wa I walked fire across his deck. I think I set two or three fires on him. Uh, and now I'm moving on. I went dark again. Uh, and it, now, like, like I said earlier, the, the, being able to go dark and just re-engage where you like to is, is a really big thing for the, uh, for the Russian destroyers. So... In my port, I have so many, so many ships that I have wanted to do uh, guides for that I'm really going to try to start getting out. Um, my next guides will probably be on the Yamato. I want to do a Yamato guide uh, that will include like the my thoughts on the battleships leading up to the Yamato, which most of them are outstanding. Um, Japanese cruisers. I, I'm at tier 8 pretty much on most lines or uh, I think every line pretty much except the American cruiser. No, I'm at the New Orleans. I'm at the New Orleans. Uh, the American uh, carriers. I'm only at the Independence right now. Um, I've had the Ranger unlocked for a very, very long time. I just have not bought it. Uh, I have the Shikaku unlocked. I just have not bought that one. So, uh, at the moment, I, I'll i get into another guide about cruisers, but I feel the German cruisers and the Japanese cruisers are much more effective in battle at the moment than the American counterparts, which I'll get into at another, at another time when I do my New Orleans uh, guide. Um, so earlier I was talking about the uh, suicide range with the torpedoes. Um, so I've been moving through north, chewing through the fleet here, and this uh, New York shows up. And you see, I, I held my fire as long as I could. Uh, I was hoping he was would notice me. A lot of times when you're closing into an enemy ship, um, you'll pop up, but they won't notice you. So I, I hold my fire uh, until you know, until I know for sure they're going to notice me. Uh, now I dropped my first one on the guideline. The second one, I figured he would try to turn away, so I dropped it. Uh, behind the guideline, anticipating his turn. Um, this New York, however, turns really fast, and he was actually to, able to evade my torpedoes. He did a really good job there. Um, unfortunately, the DDs have smoke. It's kind of your get out of jail free card. Uh, so pop smoke, disengage, and uh, wait. Wait until it's more favorable for you. Um, this smoke ability is, is so extremely useful. It has saved me like this so many times, um, and it is, is very frustrating for, for battleship players, and it will cruiser pretty much in. Uh, so now that I'm in smoke, I'm watching his turrets, uh, and I'm just going to keep banging away on him. Now, when you're in smoke, you can actually still be shot. What I do when a destroyer sitting in smoke like this, I look for their muzzle flashes, and I will be, I'll, I'll shoot at... Um, their muzzle flashes and you can hit them that way. So if his turrets had turned towards me, I would have stopped firing. Um, but since he, he 
which uh, looking at someone else I continue to fire now at this range um, I'm circling here because he, he'll have a very hard time actually tracking me with his guns but uh, my second torpedo salvo uh, pretty much finished him off there and uh, I cleared out the last enemy here on the north and uh, luckily my team was was resetting the cap uh, down south they did a good job with that and so now I'm just going to sit on the enemy cap and attempt to cap them out. Uh, shout out to Pebbles, or sorry, Peoples, or not Peoples, Pebbles, Pebbles. Sorry, if I mispronounced your name, um, Pebbles. Uh, he was in this battle. He said he was a subscriber of mine. I, I just wanted to give a shout out to him. Thank you. You're awesome. Again, subscribers, you guys are, are, are just totally awesome. I get messages all the time from you guys. I really appreciate the support. Um, and uh, y'all are just awesome. So, um, Russian destroyers, what are their weaknesses? Um, one of the weaknesses for the Russian destroyers, I feel, is their turn time. They don't seem to turn as well as their American and Japanese counterparts. Uh, so they don't turn as well. And, and that again could change the higher up in tier I go. Uh, I'm not certain. We'll, we'll see. Again, I'll be releasing more videos as time goes on. Um, so far, the gun traverse is slower than the Americans, but it is faster than the Japanese. Uh, but I hear they speed up actually the higher in tier you go, your gun traverse actually gets better. So that may not be an issue. Um, but their two biggest weaknesses really is their torpedo range and their uh, detection range. Um, they're the least stealthy of all the DDs and they have the shortest torpedoes of all the DDs. Um, but they have very fast torpedoes that do lots of damage. Again, they're just very short range, but they can typically can launch a lot of them. They can really put out a lot of torpedoes at very short range. So they're really handy for that, um, that kamikaze rush against the battleship or whatnot. You know, you charge towards him with your hair on fire, screaming, witness me, and and hope uh, he doesn't notice you or can't shoot, or you just get lucky. Um, again, at higher tiers, I know the range goes up to at least 8 kilometers, and when I get that, um, that'll be awesome. Uh, their strengths, like I said earlier, was their, their gun power. You definitely want to use their guns as much as possible, um, and... Their ability to, to engage when and where they want uh, is, is a big, big deal. Um, so anyway, this is my first video, like I said, since since I'm going to start releasing them again. Uh, please comment. Share these on the World Warships forums. Um, again, thank you everybody for your support. Uh, all the comments I get all the time that are positive. Um, I really appreciate it. This is Ironhide X. I will see you again soon. Um, I have lots of videos planned that I'm trying to do, uh, get edited and all the audio and everything done for, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Um, and uh, so a buddy of mine was saying that YouTubers usually have like a signature sign-off thing they should do right as they leave the video, um, something they say or do. I don't have one yet. So any suggestions of what my sign-off thing should be, please comment and let me know. Let's see what y'all come up with. It'll be interesting.